Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, let's talk about portfolios. I'm gonna answer the question, how important is your portfolio? And you probably thought in your head, yes, it's very important, Evan, we know this, but I really just wanna talk a little bit about why they're important um, and better ways of thinking about it. So portfolios are obviously very, very big. Uh, if Since you're new to web development or maybe you are just new in general, you probably haven't noticed that every single development firm or freelancer has at least some form of a portfolio. That's the way that we show clients what we're capable of and who we work with. Now, it's no exaggeration to say that if you do not have a portfolio, you probably will not make a sale. The exception to this is if you make a sale through some sort of an inside connection. Inside connections, maybe they don't need a portfolio. So now that we've pretty much gotten that out of the way, you need to have some form of a portfolio. Let's talk a little bit about what clients look for. Now, there are a lot of big things that clients look for, and the more important ones are the things that are actually happening subconsciously, things that they're not consciously looking for or thinking about. So the three things that I've noticed over and over again, clients first look to see whether or not you have consistent high quality across your portfolio. Then they're gonna look for whether or not they recognize any of the applications or sites that you have in it. Um, and then after that, they're gonna look to see if there's any example in your portfolio that is similar to what they're doing, either in some technical regard, design regard, or just in general. Okay, so the first thing that they look at is, is there a consistent quality across your portfolio? Now, why is that worth pointing out? If I look at five websites or apps you made, I'm going to expect that each one is going to be consistent in how good they are how functional, how pretty they are. Now, if I were to look at five, one is fantastic, one is terrible, and then three are okay. What does that signal to me? It signals to me that I don't actually know what I'm going to get, right? Because one out of five chances uh, say that I'm gonna come back with something terrible, and 60% of the time, I'm gonna come back with something that's okay. So typically clients, whether or not they recognize this, they're more interested in um, they can, whether or not they can see that you constantly produce the same quality. Now it's better to have slightly lower quality that's consistent than to have quality that's all over the board. When you have quality that's all over the board in your portfolio, they just don't know what to think. Now the second thing is, do they recognize any of the apps? If they do, that's a huge plus for you. Um, for some reason, there's just some psychological effect going on that when they know you've built something that they use, they feel like all of a sudden you are much more substantial. You are much, much more capable than you really are. Um, not to say that you're not capable. It's just that for some reason, if I know that you've built something that affects my life already or affects lots of other people, I'm obviously going to put you on a much higher pedestal.